Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can enhance your winter landscape by applying a fake snow effect in Photoshop. And for this purpose I want to show you two ways how you can achieve that. Oh and by the way all the files I will be using for this video can be found in the description of the video. So feel free to try this yourself. Okay and the first way is probably the fastest method to achieve that snow effect and now I'm grabbing this picture and I'm placing it over the picture where I want to have the snow effect applied. Now let's rotate it real quick and of course scale it up. And in order to blend those images together I simply have to change the blending mode from normal to lighten or screen. That depends on your taste. I will probably go with screen for this one. And now we already have this nice looking snow effect. But of course we can further enhance this by applying a new levels adjustment layer and then clip it to the snow layer by holding down the alt key and clicking between the adjustment layer and the snow layer. And what we want to do with the adjustment layer is to drag out the black point so all the darker areas in the snow layer will get even darker and thus less visible when changing the blending mode to screen. So you can play around a little bit with this one depending on how much contrast you want to have left in the image. And to even further enhance this effect, we can apply some motion blur on this layer. Therefore, I'm going to filter blur motion blur. And let's set the direction to something like this and increase the distance a bit. All right, and that's it for the first method. So for the next method, I only want to use Photoshop to generate those snowflakes. And the first thing I want to do is to create a new layer. Then let's fill it with black. Therefore, I'm hitting Shift F5. Again, I'm heading to the filters and I'm going to noise and add noise. Here it's important to check the monochromatic setting. Otherwise, you will get color in this noise image. And let's increase the amount a little bit. All right, and uh, because right now the noise does have some rough edges, I want to blur it a little bit right away. Not that much though. Okay, now in order to get those nice little snowflakes, we need to separate the blacks from the whites in this noise layer. And the best way to do that is to apply another levels adjustment layer and again clip it to the layer beneath it. And again, we want to drag up the black point and go down with the white point. And maybe even play around a little bit with the point in the middle. And we will be doing this until we get a nice snow-like pattern. Let's test it real quick by setting the blending mode of that layer to screen again. And if you're not satisfied with how many snowflakes there are in the image, just drag the white point down a little bit further. And again, you will get this nice snow effect. Oh, and by the way, if the snowflakes are too small for your taste, you can just scale that layer up. But maybe you want to readjust the levels adjustment layer then. Now the still does look pretty rough, so let's apply some more blur. And again, I'm going with the motion blur setting. If you want to get some more randomness into all of this, you can also go to filter, pixelate and crystallize. And this will apply this cell-like effect on the noise layer beneath it. And as you can see, all the snow is now a little bit more randomized. So those were two easy methods to apply a snowy winter effect on your images with a little bit of Photoshop. So I hope this was interesting. And of course, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.